Virtual production is about as cutting edge as it gets right now. This is kind of like brand new technology. We're testing out a lot of new capabilities in a real environment. We're hoping to fool you and, at least for a second, put you into a story that is mostly virtual. Today, we are doing a tech demo for in-camera VFX virtual production. We're also here at Drexel, who's graciously hosting us with their motion capture studio. The opportunity for us as an education institution here is that we're working with professionals that are experienced in this brand new technology. We're using this as an opportunity to work with a great group of people and produce real content on our platform. It opens up more doors for you and gives you more tools. I think this could really be helpful for every size of production, from the little guy to the big guy. I'm actually really excited about the possibilities of more indie virtual productions and small-scale studios using in-camera VFX. My name is Ian Fursa. I am the owner and creator of the VP Toolkit. Every once in a while, it will be a little off. Uh, on set, I generally work as an in-camera VFX supervisor or head of virtual production. Today we are testing the capabilities of dual projectors that are mapped together uh, to see if we can get the correct luminance value out of them. Commonly, this type of virtual production is done on a large-scale LED wall system. With this demo production, we are hoping to get some quality results out of a lower budget uh, more consumer grade technology. And action. Besides that, we are also testing our new server system designed by uh, Steve Chandler, my partner and I, called Catalyst. My name is Steve Chandler. I'm a visual effects artist and I also build servers, pipelines, and infrastructure for creative companies. Catalyst is a turnkey virtual production solution that we hope will make it a lot easier for smaller businesses as well as larger ones to get into the virtual production party. We're working with Color Space Labs today. They are helping us out with everything production related. I'm Mike Colosimo. I'm with Color Space Labs. I'm one of the owners and founders. My name is John Martin. I'm the business development manager for Color Space Labs and today I'm the assistant director. So Color Space is providing the personnel for this project. They brought in a great crew and a live streaming setup for our Q&A uh, on Tuesday, uh, which we think should be really fun. Me and John Martin are here, you know, kind of holding the team down. We're both kind of interested in like, what's new, what's kind of coming up. There are very few companies in Philadelphia that are doing this right now. A partnership with a group like VP Toolkit and Catalyst, as well as Drexel, represents a very large step for Color Space in making virtual production part of our wheelhouse. Drexel is providing the facility, so the entire stage itself, as well as the motion capture system and the projection wall, virtual production wall system. My name is Nick Justician. I am the program director for VR and immersive media at Drexel University. What's really exciting about the project for me is that this is a rubber meeting the road professional application of the technologies that we're using here. Uh, in particular, Ian and Steve and their team have developed a custom toolkit specifically for rapid implementation of virtual production, like these projection walls, LED walls, and, and that's proprietary to what they've been working on. And so the opportunity to have that here in our studio and have it proven in a professional setting is really, really exciting. I've seen some of the benefits of a system like Catalyst in Action, where we've been in direct contact with another collaborator in Japan who has been contributing to the live editing of our virtual environment. Yo, what's up? Can you hear me? How you doing, man? What time is it? Good. It's pretty close to 8 a.m. here in uh, Tokyo, Japan. Do you want to do the old-fashioned? I know everybody on these live streams loves when you move the sun. Pretty crazy to see someone half the world away live editing the, the sets that we're shooting on as we're shooting. There's a lot of 
different systems that all have to talk to each other, different software programs. There's a need for low latency. There's a need for high performance. A lot of the market is currently run by large LED wall systems, and it's too expensive for medium to small budget productions to be able to rent these systems and run them. There are very few people in the world that have the expertise that Ian and Steve and their team have in this space. So by offering our space for them to use, uh, we're able to learn, look over their shoulder as they work through a you know, full professional shoot. We cannot forget to thank Resolution Rentals and Lightbulb Rentals for their very generous donations of you know, gear, equipment, support. They really helped us to take this from a passion project to a real legitimate application showcase. We have a, a wonderful Ari camera, Cook lenses, anamorphics. You know, these are all beyond what we would normally have on a day-to-day -day course. And so it really brings in a new level of experience for us here on our stage. What did you hope to accomplish today? Today, day one. Day one. What do I hope to accomplish day one? So what we're looking for today is to simply just get ourselves set up and ready for a lot of calibrating and kind of just messing with stuff tomorrow. It, like it just it needed Ian's magic. I'm the yes. Genlock the magic whisperer. Guy. A lot of things that really need to be calibrated just right because you have like a, just a little bit of wiggle and all of a sudden, you know, the, the illusion breaks. Yeah, it's still blocked for some reason. The VB Toolkit Calibration System is a system that I designed to speed up the setup time for virtual production. It uses a tracker to place the camera offset and the screen position in a in-camera VFX virtual production workflow. The VP Toolkit in Camera VFX Focus Solver is a solve for the layering of real camera depth of field and virtual depth of field. You'll be able to actually transition from real elements on your set to virtual elements in your Unreal Engine environment. So we're going to have physical elements, an actor, props, etc., in a studio, interacting with virtual elements, like the background that's being projected. The project is basically two separate showcases that are showing off aspects of VP Toolkit, as well as in practice demonstrating Catalyst's ability to host and to manage these types of projects. Uh, one is sort of a narrative, a very, a very quick piece of what would be sort of you know, a narrative application, and the other is going to be a little more creative. I think the future of this technology and the applications that I see it expanding into are uh, more schools. Uh, I'm excited to continue my work with uh, Nick from Drexel in developing workflows and courses for the next generation of virtual production uh, operators and artists. Oh, look, there's a helicopter. Look at it. Oh, what? After these three days, I feel pretty good. I'm happy that a lot of the technology that we are implementing into this production workflow uh, actually did its job. Now, none of that could have worked without the crew that we have here. Uh, so I just want to thank all of them. They're all behind me. Thank you, guys. This production is very complicated, and everybody here fell into their role so well that that complexity honestly almost disappeared. We completely lit, set up, shot, one scene that involved physical and virtual props broke down and then spun up an entirely different concept in the same day. This could really, uh, really open up a lot of possibilities within production. If you're a production company looking to get in this kind of technique, I say there's never been a better time. These workflows are becoming easier and easier every day. There's still a lot of complexity that needs to be managed, but getting into the flow now will give you an awareness of what those things are as you get to grow along with this uh, developing technology. We tested a lot of elements that were in development for the VP Toolkit and for the Catalyst platform. And we walked away knowing that these workflows and features in our systems 
are now production tested. There's a lot happening in the space right now to make productions like this easier. And we're hoping with Catalyst, me and Ian, to bring a whole new easy way to do this to the table. I'd probably say the most exciting thing to me and the most compelling aspect of uh, the last couple days has been that it worked. Bye! What he said. <laughs>